Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about residency in the United States versus residency in India. And this is my third year of residency and I'm one of the chief resident here in internal medicine residency program. And one statement I would make is this is totally worth it, okay? I wanna make some of the points which are very, very important, which will help you make an informed decision about your career choice on where you want to have your residency, okay? Now, first of all, let's talk about duration, okay? In United States, the duration of residency is determined by the specialty. Like, for example, internal medicine would have three years, medpeds would have four years, surgery would have five years, and psychiatry, family medicine would have three years of residency. And uh, further, after the residency, depending on what subspecialty you want to go, like, for example, Internal medicine residency use of three years and then if you want to do cardiology that's three more years of fellowship and then further after cardiology if you want to do interventional cardiology that's one more year of you know fellowship after cardiology or two more years for electrophysiology in cardiology so depending on what specialty and what training you want to do the duration of residency is dependent on that and this is mainly as per the rules by ACGME in India it is mainly based on MCI rules and usually residency are standardized for three years. Now, second thing I want to talk about is entry into residency. Now, in India, you have a single exam, NEET PG exam, and uh, it's very competitive. Whereas in US, you appear for USMLE exam. And the difference, I would say, in India, it is just determined based on scores. It doesn't depend on what your CV is, what your interview taking skills are how is your overall personality whereas in us apart from scores the other things are also important how you present yourself how skillful you are so it's a holistic approach um, as as mentioned by an rmp so that's about entry into residency third one i would say workload and uh, work-life balance where they mentioned that indian residents work over 100 hours a week with a little regulation on duty hours which ultimately lead to burnout right and uh, there is no body who regulates duty hours whereas in united states it's mainly regulated by acgme every resident has to log their work hours and they cannot exceed more than 80 hours otherwise it's a violation of the work hours and the residency program has to take some action if the work hours are violated so there is a governing body which takes care of work hour. Having said that, do you mean that work hour violation doesn't happen in the United States? No, but it is very regulated. Since uh, these are the rules about work hour permit and how much you should be doing, ultimately it will help in less burnout rates um, of US residents. The fourth I want to talk about is stipend. In India, if you are in residency, you would get stipend of around one thousand dollar a month which is around eighty thousand to one lakh inr and uh, that would give you a reasonable comfortable living i would say moderate living uh, because of the cost of living and then in the united states the stipend can be around of four thousand dollar a month sometimes depending on the area and cost of living where you are living like for example if you are staying in new york that might be just enough to just live paycheck to paycheck it could be just barely leading to some savings but if you are in area like for example if you are in a rural setting you can save some money and uh, and take it from there so it really depends on the the place where you are doing residency the fifth one i would say is the training quality in india hierarchy is 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 a lot hierarchy is, is something where senior faculties would even monopolize the opportunities uh, for procedures to give to their junior colleagues and uh, that hierarchy always places a barrier of freedom of communication that I may not be able to speak all the things to the top level because he's so and so head of the department he'll probably not uh, let me graduate from my residency. So a lot goes into the hierarchy and a lot of scut work might go to the hierarchy. You might have to even do their daily course, which I I hated. Whereas in US, is it that there are no hierarchies? No, there is, there is hierarchy and, and I would say it's a minimal hierarchy, but everyone is at same level, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whether 
whether you work as a handyman everyone is treated as same as as uh, in contrast to india there is a lot of hierarchy so given that you know equitable environment i would say it really brings you to comfort and a supportable environment and you ultimately get to flourish and practice evidence based medicine then sixth i would talk about working environment that 70% of indian doctors have experienced workplace violence or assault during their careers so there are safety concerns there are overcrowded hospital and are we doing something for that in us i would say residency is stressful there are hospitals where you would have violence and and one thing which i hate about about uh, safety in us i would say is is gun violence and uh, it is very rampant and i am very you know actively advocating against it so that's one thing you know on the downside but uh, having said that there'll be some hospitals which are very safe uh, residency can be stressful in us as well but safety concerns are are taken very very seriously the seventh one regardless to say uh, us only has global recognition you can use your ecfmg certificate even to practice in other countries and then eighth i would mention is about research in us if you are into residency you'll be you'll be having some research experience not just a research experience for the name sake where you just write some thesis and which might not even have a clinical impact in us you would actually be encouraged to do research and again this is all personal interest how much interest do you show in your residency how much research you want to do but if you are really into research you'll be given very very good opportunities to make some research which can make some clinical impact okay which can change the guidelines so those are some of the i would say key differences in uh, residencies of us and uh, and and india having said that this is just to make you aware of the key differences so that you can make some informed decisions if you have noticed if you are practicing whether in india or whether in united states or somewhere anywhere in the country if you have noticed some difference please write in the comment below and let me know what are some of the things which you like about the practices there or what are some of the things which you really hate and maybe you want to change maybe we can talk in the comment section below thank you for watching